For a long time, the basic understanding of migraine just wasn't there. Most treatments for migraine were borrowed from other diseases like epilepsy because it has to do with overactive uh, brain uh, cells and, and, and nerve cells. And so something that could sort of tamp that down was uh, thought to be uh, beneficial, but it really wasn't targeted therapy. So this is one of the first truly targeted therapies. So science and medicine have shown that the trigeminal nerve is the culprit in, in migraine that is overactive. And when it's overactive, it releases CGRP. And this molecule, this brain uh, chemical CGRP, is the short name. The long name is calcitonin gene-related peptide. And when that happens, it changes the way the brain responds to input, and it makes the brain uh, hyperexcitable. So people who have uh, migraine experience really disabling uh, attacks that last from four hours to three days with symptoms like pulsating headaches, nausea, vomiting, hypersensitivity to light and sound. And it's not just like a bad headache. It's really very disabling. And there are about 40 million people in the U.S. that suffer from migraine, and it affects about uh, 15% of the, of the U.S. Uh, population, and it's three times more frequent uh, in, in women uh, than in men. Oh, did you, any learnings from your old research, which sounds somewhat similar, you know, about young animals getting overexcited and overstimulated? Yeah, yeah, it was really Which interesting because, and how. yeah, because early on, you know, it was thought that uh, these age-related differences, uh, actually, there was some misconception that the age-related differences meant that the undeveloped uh, brains weren't fully able to appreciate 